Welcome to another scintillating episode of Metropolis After Hours. I'm Flynn Cook, and this is Gail Burt. How you doing? And uh, mostly this episode, we're going to cover. Or I say, co- how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> uh, anyway, in this episode, we're going to cover uh, all the fantastic uh, comic book movie news that has hit the. The, the web in the past uh, week or two weeks. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh, yeah. First of all, the biggest thing, very important for she and I, uh, they have Superman cast has Superman. Been cast, yeah. yeah. Uh, actor Henry Cavill, who um, I only know him Cavill. from uh, Cavill, Cavill, whatever. <laughs> from the uh, Tudors. <laughs> yeah, Henry Cavillcade. Uh, anyway, uh, I know him from uh, the remake of The Count of Monte Cristo from several years ago. He oh, had a relatively minor part in that. I don't watch TV, so I don't see the Tudors. So well. I, I've seen the Tudors and I, I wanted to love it, but um, I think it's kind of boring overall. But I thought Henry Cavill was one of the best things about it. So, uh, eh, don't kill me. I, 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 I'm more a Spartacus kind of girl. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm indifferent. I haven't seen the guy act. No, I have no reason to assume that. I think that he looks he awesome. Be fine. Uh, he's got kind of big lips, though. Gotta give him that. I he's love got, that. He's got kind of big he's lips. He's a good looking Like man. Tom Hardy as Bane. What's Nolan trying yes. to say? And Anne Hathaway as Selena Kyle. That's cool. No one has a thing about big. Lips. Now we did talk about. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, you got to buy a sense of pattern here. I wonder yes. what that means, baby. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> we did talk about Anne Hathaway last time, and uh, yeah. she had been bandied about widely to be uh, the Lane. choice for Lois Lane. Yes, yeah, but, which uh, leads us to our other thing about when they Superman announced casting. her uh, as Catwoman. I think that kind of put the kibosh on that. Uh, which leads us to a, uh, another thing about the Superman casting: the fact that uh, three women are being courted for the female lead in the movie. And we're hearing that it's not Lois Lane. Uh, she says that it's been said it's not Lana either, but I haven't heard anything to that effect. I, I haven't heard confirmed reports that it's not Lana, but the we the rumor mill Lois. says it's not Lana Lang because you mean Lana they uh, that that's not Lana Lang either. Um, the the rumor mill says that they don't want to anchor the new movie in uh, in Smallville because the TV show's been there for the last ten years, and so uh, so they're then saying why not Lois. Well, they're saying that it's going to be a completely new character, probably one Again. Uh, just for the movie. Yeah, Honestly, or, or somebody Rachel kind Dawes. of obscure, you know, I'm not really sure. Yeah, Rachel Ra- Dawes. Rachel Dawes, do, do we need another one of those? I know. No one would it kill you to use a girl from the comics? Yeah, we don't really care about people that aren't in the com- comic books, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't come to see a Superman movie to see things that aren't really in the comics. I, yeah. I know. Uh, well, I don't know, though. You know, uh, the Batman uh, animated series a- introduced Harley Quinn, and she eventually found her way into the comics. Uh, I'm one of the only people that's not very, Harley Quinn. Well, she's a very, very popular character with many people. And, uh, I, yeah, I'm not a huge Harley fan either, but um, I, because I'm just not a person who, like, gets off on villains of any kind. I, you know? Well, I, I, don't think I can't cool. stand it because of the fact that I'm, I'm just watching the animated series, and I'm saying, he's no good for you. Why can't you see it? You are a psychiatrist. You're smarter than this. You know, so... It's called suspension of disbelief, man. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go with it. Yeah, uh, which reminds me of one of my favorite covers from the Silver Age. Uh, Superman's, like, taking off his glasses. He's walking into an office, talking to Lois and Lana, and he says, I'm not gonna be with either of you. You know why? Because I couldn't stand to be with a woman who can't tell I'm Superman with glasses on. <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah. That's that great. Yeah, yeah, so you know, you talk about your suspension of disbelief. The ultimate suspension of disbelief is in the Clark Kent Superman. That's thing. right. It is. Uh, well, you know, they say that uh, as, as I've read the comics over the years, they say that the explanation for that is that Superman employs a sort of low-level hypnotism on people that makes himself be perceived as a little bit shorter, or, a little bit heavier, a little bit softer, or that he and, um, uh, vibrates himself <laughs> just slightly, so slightly out of phase. Yeah, so he doesn't exactly. <laughs> look the same. He looks like a blurry Superman. With a little glasses. bit, yeah. Uh, but uh, on to other movie <laughs> oh, news, uh, uh, they've uh, finally given us a good look at the sp- uh, the full Spider-Man costume for the Spider-Man reboot, and I have to say, I'm not crazy about it. Uh, I was either. not crazy about the reboot in the first place, but I started hearing things that I liked. You know, I, Sally Field is Aunt May. I like uh, the actor. Yeah, Martin you know, Sheen is Uncle Ben. And, and, and Andrew Garfield. And, I, I, I like him. He's, I'm indifferent on him. Uh, you know, Gwen Stacy coming first. So I like all those little things. But then you see the costume, and 
You know, if this were the first Spider-Man film, I'd say, okay, that's that's fine, it looks like Spider-Man. But having just come off of the Raimi trilogy where the costume was perfect, there's no excuse for the changes. Yeah, it, it really is, uh, I'm not really sure. Well, the thing is, I understand they don't want this movie to look like the other movies. They want it to have its own look, and I do mm -hmm. understand that, but the colors yeah, no. are very bright. Um, yeah, but Andrew Garfield, uh, if you've seen The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, I believe that or his name was uh, Anton in uh, The Imaginarium. So, yeah, so I, I uh, thought he was really cute. And he's, I think he's a good choice. He's a good actor. That's not a movie I would have seen. I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm, fine. I'm sorry. I got something in my throat. I got a frog in my throat. <laughs> um, any, any other comic book news? Uh, any comic book movie news? No, I don't think so right uh, now. So. They're starting to... Uh, <clears throat> they're starting to show the first pictures are starting to show up of Chris Evans uh, and the Captain oh, America the movie Captain America uh, movie posters. They look very gritty. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. which I'm indifferent. Uh, you know, the costume, I really can't complain. I wish it looked more like the comic, but it looks like Captain America. It, it does. I it wish Wolverine looked like Wolverine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I can only complain so far. I think I, Chris Evans is a good looking man, too. Well, I think he's got a big nose, but that's beside the point. Really? Yeah. He's got a big nose. It doesn't doesn't look like Steve Rogers. I think he's so cute. But I think the acting ability is going to be far more important. Yeah, he's very which charming. I think he's got. I think he's great got great magnetism and great charisma. So but, uh, a lot wanna, of presence there. Want to spotlight the upcoming DC event, which a lot of people aren't having any faith in because it's the Flash, and not Flash a lot point. of people read the Flash these days. Now, most of you I, know, I have a feeling that's going to change with this uh, story. Well, I damn well better. Uh, you know, a lot. Any, most of you who know me know that I'm a big Flash fan. And I'm not saying that you should check out Flashpoint uh, because I'm a Flash fan. I'm saying it because it sounds like a really great story. It's going to be this year's Blackest Night. It's going to be huge. It's going to be colossal. Uh, the, the plot synopsis that we've seen so far is just highly intriguing. History has been completely screwed up all across the DC Universe due to the muckings of Professor Zoom. And it looks like the history is going to be altered so wildly that the Flashes are going to be the only ones left the same. And it's going to be up to them to put history back as it was. The uh, scuttlebutt has it that uh, that this is going to sort of tie into the revamp of Wonder Woman. Yeah, and, they, they've uh, already hinted in Flash <clears throat> that uh, people from the future have looked in their records and seen both versions of Wonder Woman. They said, well, right. wait a minute, there's an incongruity here. The Flash was right. History has been messed with. Right, and so now they've got to uh, figure out how to undo what Eobard Thon, Professor Zoom, has done. And uh, so it's it's a mini series. Um, but there, how, there's going to be a lot of tie-in books. There, there are going to be a lot of crossovers with it. There's going to be 15 tie-in miniseries. And I believe that the ripples of this are going to continue to reverberate for some time. Um, it's going to be as DC big and universe. as colossal as Blackest Night. I, I do believe that's true. It's When it gets underway, if you're one of the people that are saying, eh, I'm going to check it out, and I'm not a fan of The Flash, you'll be uh, hearing what's going on, and then you'll be saying, well, why didn't and then you'll to be flight? going to your local comic book shop trying to find a copy of it, and they'll be going, I'm oh, sorry, man, it's $14 now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sold out two weeks ago. Happened Whoops. with Blackest Night, will happen so with Flashpoint. Hurry. Bank on it. Jump on it early. I, that's my advice. And uh, our next order of business, oh, uh, latest promotion right. that we at Metropolis Comics have going is called Spread the Love of Metropolis Comics. Now, what this is is a little extra incentive. Uh, if you... Uh, are a member with us and you sign up a friend you will get half off your next renewal you sign up another person your next renewal will be free right uh, and as you know that's uh, twenty dollars a year uh, so that's that's quite it's a bit a of savings there. It's a to pay because you, the service that you get is awesome if you don't know about the uh, reserve box program here you really have to ask it's a it's a great thing uh, that way you'll make sure you don't miss any issues of Flashpoint when you yes. come in and <laughs> sign up as a new member. Um, you get a reserve box and uh, you get all kinds of cool benefits. You get a discount on everything you buy. Um, that's every purchase, uh, purchase that you make, not just your comic book uh, purchases and too. And also so. something that we've just instituted. Uh, if you come in <coughs> on your birthday, uh, and we're, we're kind of working with the settings of it a little bit, and we might make it so that, you know, the week of your birthday, and no, we have some kind of a voucher. here's my proposal. The month of your birthday, the whole month of your birthday. That's my proposal. So we'll talk it over and see what we decide. But, uh, but we're saying that point, you're going to get a special discount. So. Yeah, the, uh, the point of it is uh, your birthday, you will get 20% off yep, all that Special day. birthday discount. So, yes, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. And so uh, the final thing that I want to mention, too, is that Metropolis has been nominated um, for the L.A. City Hot List. Um, so definitely yes. do go to LA city, LA .com. 
keyword, keyword metropolis, metropolis and, and vote, vote for please us. vote for we us. are in second place as of the time of this recording we are behind a generic collectible shop like frankincense uh if you ask me i don't think it's fair that they're in there it's not fair yeah they're they're not just comics we're strictly comics we're in second place well we're not strictly comics we got everything well yeah but i mean in terms of our market we're pretty much a comic book shop that place is a generic collectible store in like the san fernando valley or something i don't think it's fair that that they get into the category or that they're in first place so vote for us uh if you like us if you don't like us please change your mind yeah don't and then you, vote for us if you don't like us then don't tell us because it'll hurt our feelings and we'll cry um, also, vote for us on Yelp. Uh, go go on Yelp. Help, help well, us out. Well, it's not a vote yeah. thing. It's uh, uh, yeah, go, yeah, give, go give us good reviews and, uh, on Yelp. Give us a good review on on Yelp and oh, no. uh, give us an honest review. We're yeah. not trying to bully anyone. Well, it, it'll be good if it's honest. So. Yeah. Yeah. It will. <laughs> so yeah. So that's it for this time. Uh, yeah. I'm Flynn Cook and I'm Gail Bird. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.